if you saw my last video um, regarding this watch, but not about this watch, um, you would have noticed that um, I had two main points that I was not happy with. Although again, not because of this watch. And now this is a review of the details of the watch in itself. So let's have a look at this thing. For your $15, you are getting quite a lot in a little package. The dimensions, you have a 38 diameter dial and a 40.5 millimeter lug to lug. And you can see where, how the spring bars are integrated into the case. The strap just drops vertically down. So there's no protrusions, no overhanging there at all giving a very snug fit to any wrist. The depth of the watch from the base to the flat mineral glass is 12.2 millimeters. And you have an 18 millimeter lug width, which tapers down on this strap to 15 millimeters. The weight, including the strap, is 85 grams. The case itself is uh, a basic alloy, but what Mini Focus have done is they sandblasted it or beat blasted it, and it gives it a nice effect. It actually looks like it's stainless steel. It does not look chrome, and there's no bling to this at all. So a nice job there. You have a polished bezel leading up to the mineral glass which does protrude very slightly above the bezel. Going deeper in you have a black rehort with numbers as you can see every five minutes around 260. You can just about see them in white there. Going deeper in you have uh, applied battens, they're quite fat battens, all around, no double at the 12, half a batten at the 6 position, and a little bit smaller at the 9 and the 3 to accommodate for the 3 subtitles. In between these battens, you have printed minute hand battens. The screen itself is a, a kind of off-white silver grey and originally the reason I didn't choose this is because I thought having a, a white face and white hands would make telling the time quite illegible. But as you can see the hands are bordered in black and so telling the time at a glance is not such a problem. The crown you have a push on, or sorry, pull up, pull down crown in the center, this is the ball head. Uh, the right crown, or the right pusher, sorry, is to start the um, subdials, and the left is to reset. Now, for the uh, split second chronograph, you really need to go into the uh, instructions to find out how that works. But even if you just use it as a single chronograph, it's fine. Um, I, I, I don't, but it's just nice having it there. At the 4.30, you have a cutout date window. And below the 12, you have the brand name Mini Focus, which is applied in silver. There's a, a small or slight sunburst on this dial, which is quite nice. Now, before we go deeper into the dial, let's look at the back. So you have the Mini Focus brand stamped into the center. Um, stainless steel back, water resistant to 30 meters, so no swimming in this. And the model number. It's quite a nice back actually. Not so sterile. Uh, within the watch, the movement is actually a Japanese quartz. 
So you're going to get a lot of accuracy with this, especially when you're, you have complications such as the three chronodiles. Now the first thing I'm going to do is test that minute jump. So setting the minute hand at the 12, pressing the crown in, no jump, that's fine. As for the rest of the dial, the hands are basic stick hands ending in points. They're quite long enough. The minute hand reaches the minute markers on the chapter ring and the hour hand, well, that's, that's fine. The second hand is nicely done in an orange to make it stand out and match with the hands on the chrono. Let's just reset that. Now the left chrono on the nine tracks the passing of seconds, if I just start that. And quite a nice sweep there. Then you can see the right chrono at the three marks down the seconds here. So you get two seconds, two sweeps for one second on the left. And at the bottom you have the minutes. So two seconds two rotations for one second on the left, one second on the right, and the total is counted in minutes on the six o'clock position. I'll just stop that and press the right pusher for reset. Very nice. The subdials are actually contrast quite well. They are black, with prominent white numbers and markers. The, I really like the vibrant orange on the hands that match the second hand. And they do really stand out well. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot, below the 12 we have the brand name Mini Focus. And there's not much else there. So moving on to the strap. So as I mentioned, the strap does hang down quite well. It just drops vertically. There's no protrusions at all. Um, they are folded links. Um, but folded quite well. So you're not going to get any hairs nipped with this thing, hopefully. Um, I've not had much experience with this kind of class, but um, it, you, with this kind of class, you will get a perfect fit. Um, you're going to push the keep up here, slide it back and forwards, press it down, and there it stays. And you don't have to touch it again. The strap, as I mentioned earlier, is an 18 millimeters that narrows down or tapers down to a 16 millimeter. Now, let's have a look at this on the wrist. There we have it. A wrist roll. It's quite, it's quite a nice strap. It fits well, hugs the, hugs the wrist well with the signed brand name there on the clasp. And I, uh, I very much like that sandblasted or beat blasted case. It does make it look less of an alloy case and more of a stainless steel case. Um, and as you can see, being 38 millimeters, you're gonna have no problem fitting the wrist at all. Uh, but I think that might be one objection some people may not like about this watch being so small. I think if it was about 39, possibly 40, it would be more popular for most people. But um, I quite like it. It's the smallest watch I have, and it doesn't take long to get used to. It doesn't disappear on the wrist, and gives it a kind of vintage look. Of course, it is based on a 1970s citizen. So not much to complain about there at all. Again, you're getting a lot of watch for not much money. And I'm really glad I got that silver dial. 
And as a quick comparison, the blue dial, which again doesn't look so bad under this lighting and on video, but in the real life, once you're outside, that blue does turn black and everything does get a bit too illegible to check the time out quickly. But obviously the rest of the watch is exactly the same. So it's your choice. I prefer the silver, but no complaints too much about this, but I would be wearing the silver more than this. So there you have it, the Mini Focus ball head. A homage to the Citizen Bull head from the 1970s. A beat blasted case, 38mm, Japanese movement, and a split chrono, all for $15. Not much to complain about at all. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again with another watch on the green chair for a BBW review. Until then, take it easy.